peace and blessings, people of God. This is Brother Ardent with the Consuming Fire Temple of El Shaddai. More fire, more flame. There are evil altars that are hurting those of you who can trace your lineage back to the transatlantic slave trade. There is a reason that black people worldwide deal with nearly all of the same struggles. There are altars in Africa that are still connected to you via slavery. These altars bring favor to the altar priest and bring misfortune to the African diaspora. So before our ancestors were placed on slave ships, they were abused and held within deplorable conditions within slave castles. But at the coast of Ghana are a number of ancient castles and forts, marking the beginning of the slave's perilous journey during the era of the slave trade. These fortresses were the last memory the slaves had of their homeland before being shipped off across the Atlantic, never to return again. Many of these castles still stand today. In Ghana, before the castles were built by the Europeans, local fetish priests, which you would know as a witch doctor, right, showed the Europeans where to build the castle. So if you can envision these local priests, local fetish priests, witch doctors, are telling these Europeans, hey, you should build this castle right here, build this slave castle right here. But the land that these fetish priests would say, you know, go build the castle right here, this is land where spirits were inhabiting already, right? They chose land where there is a spirit that lived there because spirits have different areas in jurisdiction. The spirits that were on that land were spirits of bondage. These are the same spirits from Mark 5 that had a man living amongst the tombs in the cemetery. His mind was in bondage. The man was constantly placed in chains and shackles, but would break free, right? Night and day, it says, among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always crying out and cutting himself with stones. The man lived in bondage, and the collective name of the spirits that kept the man bound was named Legion. The spirits located on the land where the castles were built also contained Legion bondage spirits. Upon examination of the Legion spirit, you will notice that after they were cast into pigs, they ran into the sea, the water. The spirits on the land where the castles were built all lived right by the water aka the coastline. This is because they are marine spirits. In fact, there are 77 spirits of the Cape Coast. Inside of these slave castles are, are altars to different spirits. This right here is an altar right here itself. You will see alcohol on it and different things and gifts they give to these spirits. But this is to the spirit um, Nana Tabir, which is one of the 77 um, Cape Coast spirits. Um, in fact, this is going to be your, if you take a tour of the Cape Coast castle, this is your first stop, I believe. And while you're on that tour, they're giving you the tour. The guide may give you uh, um, the option to give offerings to the local deity or to the ancestors. And you're looking at the real altars, but what they don't tell you is that when you do give money and donate to these things, that you are coming in covenant with a demon. This sister went to one of the uh, slave castles, and you can see how it affected her and her family uh, spiritually. This is a spiritual issue, right? When our ancestors were kept at these slave castles, they and their bloodlines were dedicated to the spirits of bondage and slavery. If you look at the descendants of slavery globally, you will see that the spirits followed us. No matter what country you look at, you will find the diaspora in bondage. You'll see other people will oppress and rule over us. There's enslavement to drugs, alcohol, sin, poverty. No matter how wealthy the nation is, uh, you'll find the highest concentrations of black people in the ghettos. Because many of us live in wealthy nations like America, yet the majority of us are concentrated in the ghettos. Some of us live on beautiful islands in the Caribbean where tourism right, brings in billions yearly, yet the majority of the people are living in poverty. This is not the case for everyone in the diaspora, right? As some of us are doing very well, but the sad reality is that where you find large populations of the descendants of those taken in the slave trade, you will find spiritual enslavement. You have to disconnect yourself from these altars. This is one of the 77 shrines in Cape Coast. I will find this piece of land. A ritual was performed. Part of the rock was removed from here to town. Up there, there's a commercial bank. They used to go to that site to worship instead of here. But after the trade had been abolished, 
Another ritual was performed and it was brought back to its original place. That is why this is here. So this is inside one of the slave castles. As you can see, um, this is the altar priest performing a ritual on the altar. Things are not as they seem, right? It's not that there was just simply slavery and everything was just the flesh. No, everything is spiritual. You are connected to altars far away from you. This is a memorial built in 1995 known as the Door of No Return. It was built to pay homage to the slaves who were stripped from their homeland. Interestingly enough, this spot is also where the International Voodoo Festival is held. So at this door, where our ancestors are connected to and your bloodline is connected to, there are people doing voodoo. This is a masquerade right here. There are men inside of those suits, but they're not in control of their body. There are spirits right now controlling uh, uh, those men's bodies right now. There is rituals being done at spots where your bloodline is connected to. This is why you must disconnect. At these same gates, there are animal sacrifices that still occur to this day. It's not hidden. It's just not talked about. All over the globe, you can find monuments to black suffering. It's rare to find monuments with happy black people there. Many of these are built with noble intentions. But what these type of monuments do is act as a curse. People visit these statues and the spirits of grief feeds the deity that gather around the monuments. They become an invisible altar of sorts. These same spirits then go out and ensure that those who are represented in the monuments collectively feel grief. So who's represented in these things? Our people, right? So people of God, I could go on and on about the different deity, their locations and all kinds of information. But suffice to say, we must disconnect ourselves from these evil altars and these monuments that put suffering upon our people, right? There's a reason that they keep coming out with so many movies that show black people suffering, black people in bondage, black people being raped, maimed, killed, and so forth. They love to show you pain, 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 pain consistently so that it will come at you. You must disconnect from it. So if you're ready with me, we're going to go ahead and start disconnecting ourselves from these evil altars and these painful things in Jesus name. So if you're with me, let's get started and uh, free these bloodlines. If you're watching this on TikTok, I do not do these type of prayers on TikTok. You have to head over to my YouTube and then we can go ahead and you can get delivered, right? But uh, for those of you who are on YouTube, let's get started right now. And one more thing, even if you are mixed, right, you may be half white and half black. Um, if you have a parent who is connected to the transatlantic slave trade, meaning so if you're a parent, one of them is white, but the other one is Jamaican or, you know, or Haitian or from the Barbados or, you know, maybe Dominican or something like that, um, then you still want to go ahead and do this. Or if you um, even if you're like me. Who, um, I have one parent who is an African-American, right? But I have another one who is a Zimbabwean. So where the African-American side is still connected to the transatlantic um, slave trade, you have to break these things off of your bloodline. It's not an issue of saying, well, I don't feel like I'm not I'm not one of them, etc., etc. Watch things change in your life when you break these evil altars. It doesn't matter what you feel like. It's what you are and what sits in the blood. Demons are very legalistic. These altars cry out for whomever they can, whatever type of attachment they can get to. So anyway, now let's get started. We're now going to get started with prayer points. Say them loud with extreme aggression. Repeat after me. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself from every evil altar. From every evil altar of my ancestral land. Of my ancestral land. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. I decree and declare. I decree and declare that I am no longer a slave. That I am no longer a slave. According to Romans 8:15. According to Romans 8:15. In Jesus, In Jesus name, name. I, command every spirit of bondage I command every spirit of bondage and slavery, and slavery to flee from, to me, flee now. from me now. In the name of, In Jesus. The name of Jesus, let every spiritual shackle, let every spiritual shackle on, my on my throat and wrist, and wrist begin, to fall to the ground. begin to fall to the ground. In the name of In Jesus. The name let the witchcraft powers, the witchcraft powers of, my house of my mother's house come to an end, to an end. In, Jesus in Jesus name. Let the witchcraft powers, the witchcraft powers of, my house of my father's house come to an end, to an end. 
in Jesus name. In Jesus name. I erase my name. I erase my name. From every evil altar. Every evil altar. Of slavery. Of slavery. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let every spirit. Let every spirit. That wishes for me to grieve. That wishes for me to grieve. Fail. Fail. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I officially. I officially. Cut all ties. Cut all ties. Between myself. Between myself. And any monument, and any monument connecting, me connecting me to suffering, to suffering. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. I decree, I decree that, all evil altars, that all evil altars crying for my blood, crying for my blood shall, come to an end shall come to an end now, now. according to Numbers 23, 23. According to, to Numbers tw- 23, 23. 23 in Jesus name spirit of bondage loose me now in the mighty name of Jesus amen go ahead reach your hands towards the screen for me as we come together in prayer and I pray for you Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come in prayer for my dear brother or sister in Christ. Lord, I ask that you break every chain that has attached them to every demonic altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every evil altar that is sitting over their bloodline, I command it to break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything that will cause them to be in poverty, to be in a state of despair, to be in a state of, a state of disrepair, of grief, of grief, of abandonment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, I ask that you remove it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We wash off every spirit of slavery from their bloodline by the power and the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. We call out Abba Father in Jesus' name for we know know that lord god that we are connected to you and not connected to any evil uh, uh, uh altars in the mighty name of jesus christ lord god i ask that you would break the chain in jesus name as you are the chain breaker break the chain off of their lives lord god in the mighty name of jesus christ every evil chain that is connecting them to destruction in the name of jesus christ may it break now break now break now we break all slavery spirits out for them in the mighty name of jesus christ any type of trauma things that hang inside of their dna all trauma inside of their dna from what their ancestors have struggled through what their ancestors have gone through we break it by the blood of the lamb in the mighty name of jesus christ break 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ come off of them all spirits of bondage legion spirits get out of their body shut up and get out of their body in the mighty name of jesus christ i command you now to leave in the mighty name of jesus christ flee from them flee from them flee from them every spirit that will put them in a place uh, when they can know where they feel they can no longer move forward in life in the mighty name of jesus christ i break it in the mighty name of jesus christ i break every spirit that will call trouble to them that will cause them to be hated throughout the earth in the mighty name of jesus christ i break it off of them by the power and the blood of the lamb in the mighty name of jesus christ i break all curses of deuteronomy 28 off of them in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah lord god for we have been redeemed you have redeemed your people hallelujah hallelujah so we push into the lord we push into the lord and his promises in the mighty name of jesus christ and all that he has done for us and will do for us in jesus name we are no longer attached to any wicked altar sitting in any land on the planet in the mighty name of jesus christ we disconnect ourselves from all uh, 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 uh suffering and pain from wicked images from from uh, uh statues and so forth being made that represent us struggling and so forth in the mighty name of jesus christ i say it, it is done and we ask the lord this so we know that his promises are yes and amen so it is done done in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you people of god altars part four coming soon